Well, sustainability is a, is a word that we use more and more. Sustainability. Sustainability. Sustainability is having, I guess, a go-forward plan so that when things are completed and I'm done as the municipal administrator or the present council has moved on, the community has to continue. We want our community to stay strong and vibrant and any resources that can help us achieve that um, is good. The self-assessment tool is intended to give municipalities uh, a means to take a 30,000 foot look at their municipality and to determine areas where they're really strong in terms of sustainability and areas where they've got opportunities for improvement. You don't have to understand statistics. You don't have to dig through files and files and files or through hard drives everywhere to uncover information. I think the concept of a self-assessment tool has been around in other provinces. What Saskatchewan has done is that we've taken the tool and made it, uh, number one, more accessible and in some respect maybe even uh, more fun to use. We don't ask people to go actually capture information. They're able to agree or strongly agree with a statement. They're able to provide quantitative numbers within a range. And the feedback we received was that this made it a much easier tool to use. I think it's a great um a great example of the types of questions that we maybe don't ask ourselves enough. There's an adage, don't fix what's not broken. Maybe you're focusing on the wrong things and that tool brings it back into perspective for you and you know, puts, it, puts the focus where it needs to be. It's very quick and easy to enter the data into it and you get immediate feedback on the results. We know best what our communities are made of and how they're functioning. So it's good that we, um, we get to put the the answers into the tool. Um, one of the real points of discussion with this steering committee and working group was should we have an overall sustainability score? And it was felt uh, at the end of our discussions that that really didn't make sense. All municipalities have areas to improve. All municipalities have areas that they're good at. But what it also allows, it, it allows the municipalities to target areas for improvement. I've taken the tool to my council and they found it quite interesting and you know, right away they were asking, well, how do you get out of the yellow into the green? What things can we do? So, you know, it made them think, you know, that, and, and they want to do better. You can see at a glance by looking at a gauge where you are in the red or in the green and how far, you know, you need to look into that particular program to, you know, move it up on the, on the scale. Mayors and councils and administrators and staff that work for municipalities don't get a lot of kudos for the work that they do. You know, because as citizens we expect to turn our taps on and have safe drinking water, we expect our garbage picked up, we expect our roads cleaned, but who does all that? You know, so I think, you know, this extra little pat on the back that says, well, you know, you're doing a really good job at that is as good as, you know, having citizens come up and say, you guys are doing a good job. Now we're, uh, we're feeling maxed out in terms of capacity with water and sewer. We're feeling uh, some strains because, you know, there's more traffic and it's a busier province. This is putting strain on roads and things like that. So there's new questions. Uh, municipal governments, uh, no matter how small they are, do have to think about how much we're going to tax people. Uh, what are you going to base that on? You need some empirical evidence. You need some management tools. Uh, so for the smaller communities that don't have a lot of horsepower in terms of staff resources or money in the bank, this is, this is uh, a right tool at the right time. You can see after time where as your programs get over, you're older, your infrastructure gets older, you can see how your gauge will go slowly into the red without you even really knowing it because time goes by so fast and you get so busy doing other things, focusing on a new development or a new subdivision or repaving your roads or you know redoing that, then you forget about the compliance issues and the partnerships and all the other um, gauges that are you know part of, that makes a municipality sustainable and successful. That's why it's so important to revisit it. I would say I would probably use the tool on an annual basis uh, prior to budgeting and any um, long-term planning meetings. Use it as a conversation starter with council. Use it as a conversation starter with your senior management team. I would suggest that could be the most valuable half an hour of council meeting that you spend in the next year. You could actually have every one of your council members and your administration do it 
and they may see something completely different, answer a question a little bit different than you did, and that perception, you can bring all of those together and you know see how aligned we are even in our vision of the RM. Other administrators can share the results with each other and we can um, like reach out and figure out you know where we're at comparatively with each other on our own and uh, you know see where there's ways we can help each other to improve. You have things coming at you you know that have deadlines and you're dealing with those things on a daily basis but it really helped to have me think about What's gonna, what's it gonna be like? What's our municipality gonna be like in five years? What's it gonna be like in 10 years? What's it gonna be like in 20 years? It's awful nice now to say that our kids aren't leaving this province and that they want to stay. To use it as a benchmark, I think is gonna be key because because of the growth we're having. And I think the big thing that you'll see out of this thing is what did we learn from going through that exercise of that self-assessment tool that we maybe corrected and worked with that really Helped, helped us get to where we are today. Planning for the future is always a, um, a work in progress. As I said earlier, you don't ever get to the end of it because the future, you actually never get to the future. You're never done being sustainable. The more communities can become self-aware about the limitations of their capacities, the more they realize that partnerships are important and uh, that collaboration is important, that communica communication is important. It's coming that you have to partner with other municipalities, other groups, other um, people to you know, get the economy of scale. Everything just costs so much and if you can share those costs with somebody else it ends up making it a win-win for your community, their community and just the province in general. The assessment tool helps you think about different ways that you might be able to do partnerships. It may not be direct service partnerships, but there may be other types of forms of sharing. Right now, I mean, you look in rural Saskatchewan and uh, industry is growing. It, uh, municipal boundaries don't mean anything to industry. So you got to look at your neighbors and say, okay, what did you do to, uh, for this industry and how did you work with them? Uh, farms are getting bigger, uh, landowners own are, are running operations that are in two and three municipalities and uh, they, you know, so you got to start that collaboration on your, on your road network and everything. Every dollar in a municipality is valuable and especially in a year like we've just gone through where we're spending money on what we call essentials and so to be able to have access to a software that, you know, basically helps us determine where we're at and what we need to do to get there, you know, as far as sustainability goes, and to not have a charge for that. I don't think there's a municipality out there that can argue that, you know, sometimes the best uh, um, things can be free. So you gotta give it a try. Try it. It's easy. I can't think of a single reason not to try.